Hello and welcome again to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to use gem pages. Gem pages helps you to build high converting pages without code. You need no coding skills to do that for gem pages on uh, Shopify. Now, gem pages is used by over 165,000 merchants to create more than 1.6 million Shopify store pages and it's still going on. So it is something worth trying. So how now do we use gem pages? So you simply come to your Shopify store, you log in, and if you don't have any Shopify store, I'll be leaving a link to the Shopify website in the description of this video so that you'll be able to get there. So you log in. If you don't have an account, you sign up a very simple process where you simply use your email and password, then you confirm the email. And once you log in, it will bring you to this page. And this is where things are happening. So how do we use gem pages for Shopify? We are now on our Shopify store. I'm already logged in. So you come to the left-hand side under apps here, you click on add apps. It takes you here. So we need to look for gem pages here. So because we cannot find it automatically, we just click down here on find more apps in the Shopify app store. You click that. It takes you to Shopify app store. You look for gem pages. It's already here. If I click on G, gem pages, it's there. It's the first one here, gem pages landing page builder and free plan available. So I click on that. Then here I click on add app and then it now takes me here where it needs me to install the app. So here you see this app needs to access store information and edit store information. I click on install app. So that takes you to this page where we have the gempages.net. So you can click on start free trial up here or the second one here. Start for free and it takes you here back to Shopify where you can now click on open app. Then you select this, any of this, according to what fits you. What do you want to build? Landing pages, product pages, collection pages, new online store, whatever it is, you just create that. So you select one. So whatever it is, you just select one and then you click on create page. So in this case, let me just click on uh, landing pages. Then I click on create your page. And so it brings us to this page. You have the option of building from scratch, but I would advise you to explore the templates that they have because this will make your work easier and faster. And that is always the goal for any business. If you can do something in an easier way, then you can choose that. So I click on templates and uh, it brings me to this page. <laughs> then I look for any that may be free for you. So let me click on this one. Then I click on add to page. That's the template I want to edit. So there we have it. So it has all these details already added. So up here, I can edit all this. So if I click on that and highlight it, I can now edit all that and maybe call it victory. So if I click outside that, it saves itself, but I can also edit this title more. If I want to change this title, I can come to the left-hand side. I can change the topography. I can change the font weight. I can change the size. For instance, if I drag the size, you notice how big it becomes. So I can do that. I want it to be one line, so I'll leave it at that. I can change the line height spacing text color for instance right now it's black I can change this to another color let me put a red color like that so then the font we can change the fonts here uh, we can use the we can open the font manager and then we select any of these fonts for instance if I select on that I'll have to click on activate font and then I click on save so it will apply the font and now when I select on my 
text here. I'll be able to come to the font here. And now you notice our Acronica font is there. So I select that. So there it is. So that is how you will now edit the text. You can also edit this description. You can also edit the countdown timer here. You can also change this image. For instance, if I want to change this image, I just click on that image and up here we have an arrow. Then I can click on remove. I can also clone this row. I can also save the row. So that's how I can change this image. If now I want to add things to my page, you notice here I can add rows, I can add headings, I can add text block, I can add images, icons, I can add buttons, separators, liquid, and even down here we have more. We can add banners, parallax, hero banner, and all this. And we are going to be doing a few of these ones. So I click back. So let me say I want to add a header maybe on top here. I simply click on that H heading. Then I drag it and I drop it. Then I can edit it the same way I edited this one. So let me select this one and assume I want it to be the same as this title. So I copy that. I come here, double click, highlight, and then I paste. So to change the color the same way we did, I highlight that, come to the left hand side, go down until where I'll find color, text color. And here it is. So I change that to red. I just use the color picker or I drag that. Then the font, I can change the font there. Let me use a chronica text. Then I can change the size for that text. In this case, I can change the height for the line. Then font size, I'll add it here. Victory Electronics. Then let me reduce that line. Then down here, I can add the text shadow. I can enable that. You notice how nice now it looks. Then I can change the color for that shadow. I can also reduce the opacity here. Currently, the opacity is at 100. So I can also decide whether it will be centered or to the left or to the right. So if I click to the right, you notice it moves there, but I want it to be centered. It looks better there. So that's how you add headings. Let's go to the next item. I click back. So let's say I want to add an image. I'll simply click on image, drag and drop. So once I drop that, you notice it automatically inserts my image there. So if this is not the image I want, this is the default image that is there on gem pages. So I can now browse from gallery to choose an image. So then I click on choose image, it takes me to my PC. Now from here, I'll be able to select any image that is available on my PC. So in this case, I want to add an, a button here or an icon. So in this case, let me add a button. I simply drag this and drop it there. The button here is call to action. So maybe I want that button to be a bit different. Maybe buy now. I'll simply come to the left hand side here and type buy now. So now we have our button there and uh, I'll just put one row again so that our buy now will be at the top of this. But again, if I don't want it at the top, I can drag it up to where I want it to appear. I want it to be down here and I drop it there. Here is now our button, our buy now button. So, and we can change a lot about this buy now button. You simply click on it and then you come to the left hand side and then you can change the color. You can change a lot about, that's the background color. You can change the text color. So in this case, let me change the background color from that color to, let me put a blue one. Let me take that, just drag it to be the blue, the shouting blue, that's the one I want. So you notice our buy now button, then we can change the text color. I still love the white, so I won't change that. Then I can change the dimensions of our button. So I can stretch it by clicking on that so that it now fills this page but I wouldn't want it to look that way. So I click on stretch button. I uncheck that. 
so it's smaller. Then the width here, I can now adjust it from auto, then I can change to the number that I want. In this case, let me just let me put it at 100 for the height, and for the width, I put it at 300, so that you notice the difference. That's how it looks like. So let me say I want to add an icon. Let me add an icon at the top here. So I'll click on the icon, drag, drop. Then I come to the left and choose the icon. I click on choose icon. Then I'll choose from the icons given here, which icon do I want to use? For this one, let me use this one that has a plus. So I click on that and click on save. So you notice now, <clears throat> so you notice our icon is here, but it is too small. Again, we can add, we can adjust that. So I'll drag this. You now notice our icon is visible. And if I want to decide what this icon will open, I'll simply come here, icon link. So if I wanted to open a certain page, I'll put the link here, such that once you click on the icon, it will open that page. And it is so easy to change this icon. If I feel like maybe I didn't select the right icon, I'll simply click on it once. And it brings me to this page where I can now choose a different icon depending on what I feel. Maybe it will be better for me. So in this case, I'll just leave it as it is. Finally, I can add a separator. So let me say, for instance, I want to have a separator between the icon and the free shipping worldwide idea here. So I'll click on separator and drag it and drop it there. So we now have a separator for all this. So if I scroll down and increase that for the height, let me put it at 10. See what happens there. You now see the separator has increased. Let me add that to 100. You now notice how wide it has become here, this separator. So I don't need it to be that wide. Maybe let me put it at 50. That looks better. So that we have a separation between the upper part and the lower parts. So that is how you use the separator. And we can even decide that this separator is too dark. We want to use a different color. We simply click on that and choose a different color for that. So maybe red, blue, whichever. So let me just use a very different color to make it stand out. Let me use that blue color to just make sure it's visible enough. And you can explore more on these other items here. So if now I'm satisfied with the settings, and remember we have not even touched on these other things down here, because as we said, you simply edit them the same way we said. Maybe here we just edit this to be something else, maybe the best in the world. Then we can change this one. We can change these images the same way we changed in the beginning. Like for instance, if I want to change this particular image, I will click on the image. It shows on this side. Then I click on replace image. Then I go to my gallery or to my PC. Then I'll be able to select the image that I would want to replace that with. So from my gallery, I can select any of the images. So in this case, let me just select this image which we had generated in a different tutorial, which is available in this channel. So I give it time to load and there it is. So now I can keep on editing all these other images the same, same way. So if now I'm satisfied, I can click on save, then this website will be saved. And then I'll click on publish. In this case, that is how you use gem pages on Shopify. So I'll click on save. It's now saving. So once it saves, I'll click on publish and I'll be able to access that. So I click on publish and there we have it. View live page, successfully publish page. So let me view the page, how it looks. So I click on that view live page and there we have our page. Let it load. So there we have our page. This is how now our live page looks like. Very neat. So plus the images we added. So that is how you use gem pages. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.